My name is Vincent. I'm the program leader or the course leader for the uh, MSC Neuroimaging. So we, we're all working together with Jason Emmon. We're part of the same division, the Division of Neuroscience. Uh, but we're the more techie course, uh, I guess. Uh, so just to give you a brief, I mean, it was interesting how different all the presentations were, I guess. Uh, I just want to give you a brief about our department, the Department of Neuroimaging. So we're quite uh, you know, a recent department, despite having done Neuroimaging on the Kings uh, and on Denmark Hill campus, where all these programs are based, uh, for about 20 years now. As a department, we're quite new. We're about you know, less than 10 years old, and we've been part of the Division of Neuroscience for even less uh, than that. So we've got some really exciting facilities. So we've got four MRI scanners on site, which are used mainly for research purposes. We use a bit for clinic, but mainly for research. We have some EEG labs. We've got some PET scanners and some more MRI scanners in other facilities at St. Thomas's Hospital. Uh, there's some new imaging going on at Guy's as well on this campus, but on the smaller size, uh, you know, mostly molecular imaging and some small animal imaging. And in the department, we're quite a small uh, but perfectly formed uh, you know, academic department. We have about 20 academics, uh, 20 postdocs, about 30 PhD students, and we're quite a small course, so we've got about 25 on average, uh, you know, MSc New Imaging students. This year we only have 16, so the, the course size varies between, you know, 15 and 25, really. Uh, sorry. So why would you choose to do new imaging? Well, what we do, and, and most of the people around here, around their tables in the room are there, if you talk to them, everybody at the OPP and everybody at King's is using new imaging. Uh, whatever, you know, the division, uh, if you do addiction, if you do autism, everybody's using new imaging. So we provide the service of new imaging, but we do a lot of research with everybody else on how to best use new imaging and to develop new types of new imaging uh, methodologies. And what we're doing is really, we are the cutting edge of new imaging research in terms of technical developments and applied uh, new imaging. Uh, and what we really, the reason we're doing this course is really is to train you guys into being tomorrow's new images, to replace us and to be the best in, in new imaging. And we're providing, we hope, the training that will allow you to develop all these new methodologies and all these new applications uh, of new imaging. Uh, so I guess a lot of you are saying, well, it's new imaging, you know, it's just for the physicists or it's just for the engineers. Uh, it's not. Uh, so most of our students every year are coming from psychology or neuroscience backgrounds. And of course, we do have technical students, but all our programs in the division are really, really uh, multidisciplinary. And this is really reflected in our staff as well. Our staff come from you know, all backgrounds. Of course, we do have clinicians and we have medics and we have, uh, you know, we have chemists and we have engineers, we have physicists, psychologists. And this is just a little graph of uh, your typical you know, new imaging team, a typical new imaging project involve you know, people from all these different backgrounds working together to deliver a new imaging study, basically. And what we do with our program is we, you know, we, we follow the new imaging studies from start to beginning, uh, from start to end. So you will learn how to design new imaging studies, how to run new imaging studies, and how to, how to analyze the results, analyze the data, do the results, present them, and write them up. We just follow through, so either in research, in healthy brain, so psychology side of new imaging, or in the clinical side of new imaging. Uh, so why would you choose to do new imaging with us rather than up north or over the river? Uh, so new imaging at King's, especially on the Denmark Hill campus, we are a center of excellence for new imaging research, both on the technical side as on, on, on the applied side. There is 20 years experience in developing methods and applications of new imaging. Um, and what makes you know, the IOPPN great is that we all work together, all the clinicians, basic scientists and, and technical researchers, we all work together and we have a fantastic uh, you know, uh, patient uh, you know, uh, base at the IOPPN, mainly psychiatric research and neurological research. Uh, so how we teach new imaging? So we, we've got a really strong practical component to the course because that's what makes new imaging what it is. Uh, so we have weekly computer labs, weekly help desks, so we know we, right from the start of the year, you are just sitting down, you know, uh, you know playing with data, analyzing data. Because we have small programs, we have even smaller tutorials, you know, in groups of four or five students, we have small group tutorials, uh, you know, every week or every other week, depending on the modules. We, you know, as, as a class, we, you know, we, we do a, a, an fMRI project, functional MRI, so the students in small groups uh, in group work, they design an fMRI, a new imaging study, and we do it. We actually scan 
uh, PhD students usually. So you design your study, so you're responsible for everything from the physics parts of a study, design or f how fast you want the scanner to go, how many slices in the brain. You design the psychology, you design the experiment we want, uh, and, and, and we just run it, basically, on, on some PhD students. Uh, we have site visits because on the Denmark Hill campus we focus heavily on MRI-based research and EEG and some PET. Uh, for all the other new imaging technologies, we do cover them in the course, uh, but the ones we are not at King's, uh, we go somewhere else. For example, tomorrow we have a class trip uh, to Cambridge, so we all go at the back of the Megabus or National Express. Uh, we go to Cambridge on a trip to see an MEG scanner, and we spend the day in Cambridge tomorrow. Uh, of course, there's all the things you've got everywhere. We have journal clubs. You would shadow some existing research, some existing new imaging research. So we just tag along to see how they're doing it. Uh, and basically, what we're trying to do is to really give you an idea of what everybody else is doing within the new imaging team. So we're not intending to turn the physicists into psychologists or the psychologists into physicists. But what we want is for all of you to get a really good understanding of what everybody else is doing so that you have a really good grasp of the whole field. This is just all a module. I mean, all this information is available online so you can see uh, you know, uh, what we're doing and get, getting more details. I mean, I'm upstairs with Matt, one of our students anyway, if you have uh, you know, any questions for us. And we do cover everything. We do cover the whole new imaging range. So we, we, of course, we do look at the technical aspects of new imaging, but we look at uh, a lot of the applications clinical and psychological applications of, of new imaging, but we look at some of the extreme applications, for example, Emmons' own hypnosis uh, studies, for example. We, we do everything you know, in the context of new imaging. In, because we are a small course, we can tailor our research projects to what you want to do. You tell us what you want to do, and we find a research project that matches your interest. As much as we can, we've been pretty successful in doing this because we do you know, we do work with everybody at King's or beyond King's if we need. So basically, if you want to do new imaging on adults, on kids, on babies, on fetuses, uh, come with us. And thank you very much.